Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering cardinality constraints topic in DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. In a database management system, cardinality represents a number that denotes how many times an entity is participating with another entity in a relationship set. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is this definition. For example, let us consider there are two entity sets. One is male entity set and next one is female entity set. As we know, one male will marry to one female. For example, male entity set contains three entities. They are Sanjay, Raju and Shiva. And similarly, female entity set contains three entities. They are Rani, Maya and Durga. For example, Sanjay married to Maya and Raju married to Rani and Shiva married to Durga. Here one male is connected with one female. So we call it as one to one relationship. This is one more example. For example, let us consider there are two entity sets. One is student entity set and next one is courses entity set. And student entity set contains three entities. They are Sai, Shiva and Ramesh. And similarly, courses entity set contains four entities. They are Java, C++, Python and C. For example, Sai selected this Java course and Ramesh selected this C course. And whereas Shiva selected both C++ and Python courses. Here in first entity set, that is nothing but in first table, one entity is participated with multiple entities in second table. So we call it as one to many relationship. Here Shiva participated with multiple courses. They are C++ and Python. So we call it as one to many relationship. One entity in first table is participated with multiple entities in second table. So cardinality constant is nothing but how many times an entity is participating with another entity in a relationship set. Guys, constraints are nothing but rules. In this rule is one to one relationship and in this rule is one to many relationship. Like that we need to apply rules. Total there are two types of constraints in ER model. On that first one is mapping cardinality or we also call mapping cardinality as cardinality ratio. And whereas second one is participation constraints. I will explain this both in detail. First one is mapping cardinality. Mapping cardinality is expressed as number of entities to which another entity is associated via relationship set. This is definition of mapping cardinality. Here total there are two entity sets. One is student entity set and next one is courses entity set. I am establishing relationship between two entity sets. So we call it as binary relationship set. This is binary relationship set. Binary mean two. For binary relationship set, generally there are four types of mapping cardinality. First one is one to one. Next one is one to many. Third one is many to one. And fourth one is many to many. I will explain all this four in detail. First one is one to one relationship. I already explained this one to one relationship. Each entity in an entity set can take part only once in relationship. For example, this male is entity set and this male entity set contains three entities, Sanjay, Raju and Shiva. And whereas in female entity set, there are three entities, Rani, Maya and Durga. Here relationship takes place only once. That is Sanjay married to Maya, Raju married to Rani and Shiva married to Durga. So this is known as one to one relationship. Let us assume that a male can marry one female and female can marry only one male. So relationship is known as one to one relationship. This is one to one cardinality. We will represent cardinality using sets. Here I am taking entity set as capital A and capital B and whereas entities as A1, A2, A3 small letters and I am connecting one to one. This is diagram for one to one cardinality. Next I will explain one to many relationship. One to many relationship is a type of relationship where one entity in an entity set is associated with multiple entities in second entity set. I already explained this example. Here in student entity set, entity Shiva participated multiple times in another entity set. That is, Shiva selected multiple courses, C++ and Python. Here one student selected multiple courses. So there is one to many relationship. This is example. One student enrolled in multiple courses. This is example. This is one to many cardinality diagram. We will represent one to many cardinality using sets. For example, capital A and capital B are entity sets and small a1, a2, a3 are entities in this entity set. For example, student 1 selected one course and student 3 selected one course and whereas student 2 selected two courses. So I am connecting a2 with b2 and as well as b3. This is cardinality diagram. 
Next one is many to one relationship. Whereas in one to many relationship, one student will select multiple courses. But whereas this time, many students will select one course. I'll give an example. Before that, I will explain definition. Many to one relationship is a type of relationship where multiple entities in first entity set are associated with single entity in second entity set. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand this definition. For example, the student is entity set. The student's entity set contains four entities, Sai, Ramesh, Suresh, Lokesh. And similarly, this course's entity set contains two entities, Java and Python. For example, this Lokesh selected this Python course. Now, this student Sai selected Java course, Ramesh selected Java course and Suresh selected Java course. Here, many students will select one course. So, we call it as many to one relationship. This is diagram. Many students will select one course. We will represent many to one cardinality using sets. So here the student selected one course and these three students selected this B1 course. This is diagram for many to one cardinality. Multiple entities in first entity set are associated with single entity in second entity set. Next one is many to many relationship. Many students will select multiple courses. This is simple example of many to many relationship. For example, students are selected C++, Java and Python. This is one to many relationship. And similarly, students are selected C++, Shiva selected C++ and Ramesh selected C++. So this is example of many to many relationship. Many students will select multiple courses. So Sai selected C++ Java Python, Shiva selected C++ Java Python, Ramesh selected C++ Java Python. Many to many relationship is a type of relationship where multiple entities in first entity set are associated with multiple entities in second entity set. We will represent many to many cardinality using sets. Here capital A represents student entity set and capital B represents course entity set. A1, A2, A3, all these are entities in A entity set and B1, B2, B3. All these are entities in B entity set. So this person selected these three courses and similarly this person selected these three courses and similarly this person selected these three courses. This is simple example of many to many cardinality. Next I will explain participation constraints. Participation of an entity in a relationship is known as participation constraint. For example, if you consider students entity set, in this students entity set, entity Sai participated in Java, entity Shiva participated in C++ and so on. So participation of an entity in a relationship is known as participation constraints. Participation of entity in a relationship can be either mandatory or optional. For example, if participation is mandatory, then definitely each and every student must select courses. If participation is not mandatory, then some students may select course or some students may not select course. Entity participation can be either mandatory or optional. If entity participation is mandatory, then we call it as total participation. And if entity participation is not mandatory, then we call it as partial participation. I'll give an example so that you can clearly understand what is this total participation and partial participation. For example, let us consider there are four students, A1, A2, A3, A4. And similarly, there are three courses, B1, B2, B3. Student A1 selected this B2 course and A2 selected this B1 course and A3 selected this B3 course. Here, all these three courses are participated in relationship. So, we call it as total participation because all are participated. So, we call it as total participation. But whereas if you consider students entity set, this A4 did not participate in relationship. So, we call it as partial participation because in this entity set, A4 did not participate in relationship. I will draw ER diagram for this. This is one to one relationship because one student participated in one course. So this is one to one. If you see this course entity set, each and every entity participated in relationship. So we call it as total participation and we will represent total participation with double line. I am drawing here double line. So I will draw double line and whereas we will represent partial participation with single line. This E4 did not participated. So I am drawing single line. This is example of total participation and partial participation. I will give one more example. This student A1 selected B1 course, student A2 selected B2 course and student A3 selected B4 course. And this course B3 did not participate in any relationship. So I will draw a diagram for this. Student enrolled in courses. Here all students enrolled in courses. So we call it as total participation. So I am drawing here double line and here entity B3 is left. So we need to draw single line. This is partial participation. For example, there is another student A4. This A4 student selected this B3 course. So there is total participation for both A and B. So we need to draw double line. This is all about total participation and partial participation. 
So cardinality constraints are classified into two types, mapping cardinality, mapping cardinality contains one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many relationships. And whereas participation constraints contain total participation and partial participation.